Hello everyone, this is a satellite dish. In this video I'm gonna try to show you how to make a solar cooker using just an ordinary satellite dish with this simple piece of metal attached down there that is just somewhat protruding down here and um, I'll, I'm gonna try to make it really simple just taking you through these steps um, as I go and hopefully we'll end up with something interesting and useful. You're gonna need a sanding machine because to um, put the reflective surface on the dish you need to sand it down first. Currently, and I think most of the dishes come um, like that, they, um, the surface is rather rough. It's not something you can um, glue stuff on top. Uh, so we're gonna just sand it down using the sanding machine, uh, which is a beast. I got it of a friend. Um, so I'm gonna try to do that and I'll see how I go. Just one more thing, um, it's a good idea to make sure that you've got an, some appropriate protection um, so you don't breathe in all the do dust that um, it's gonna, there's gonna be plenty of that. And um, I think uh, I'm gonna need a new sanding paper because this one is um, pretty much flat. You can see that on the dish um, it's, not, it's not doing a terribly great job with that sanding paper but um, just gonna try to get new sanding paper and see how I go. So I've got some new sanding paper. Um, there was some rain while I was away. Let's um, let's see how it goes with this new one. It's um, it's the one for the paint. The one I had before was um, for just for sanding wooden surfaces. Um, so this one should be better. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Cool, so I've done the sanding and um, I think I'm pretty happy with that. There's a couple of um, spots in there, you can already see that there's metal coming through the paint. Uh, probably the paint wasn't too thick in there. Um, initially I thought that uh, it could be worth sanding it all down to the bare metal, but it seems that the paint coat is way too thick, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's pretty smooth, you can see I just water it down um, using this spraying thing. But, uh, so yeah, just to, just to remove the, all, all the dust, there's a lot of dust. Make sure you wear the appropriate protection when you do that. Uh, primarily just for breathing and do that in the clothing that you, um, just basically nothing that's too expensive. Um, the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is just to let it, let it dry. Cool, so the thing has dried up as you can see. Uh, although there's still a bit of a pain dust left. So I'm just gonna wipe it down with with some of the um, with some tissues. You can probably see over here that um it collects quite a bit of dust. We need to remove the dust before we spray paint that theme. Otherwise, it's not gonna be as smooth as it could have been. So I'm just gonna wipe it all down. Now I'm gonna remove the mount. Cool, so now we've got the dish positioned on the um, on some old plastic bags. I've got the spray paint here, it's a black uh, spray paint. Uh, hopefully it will give a nice even coat um, that, it, that will be really smooth when it dries up. Just gonna give it a shot. Seems to be going pretty good so far, but I think I'm running out of the black paint. I may have to use the pink one just to make it look really cool. Although it doesn't really matter because it's going to be all covered with the reflective surface. And I think we're almost out of the paint. Yeah, it's gone. Gonna need a new one. Oh well. Now we need to get some mylar stripes. Um, in order to do that we take a mylar blanket, it's a safety blanket normally found in any decent emergency kit. Um, and you can, uh, you can also order those off eBay for like three or four dollars each for a huge blanket. This is actually not a complete blanket, I already, you can already see that I cut off one piece here 
to make a tiny reflective mirror. I'm just going to show you that. It's um, it's a parabolic mirror that you need to just use a bit of vacu vacuum to um, to turn it into a parabolic shape. It's actually a pretty good mirror. You can start a fire with that, but it's still too small. Um, if you want to cook something, that's why we're building a bigger one. So now using the mylar blanket, a paper knife and a piece of a wooden board, we're just gonna cut a few narrow, really narrow stripes, like not really, really narrow, but like a few centimeters wide, maybe five, seven centimeters wide, something like that. So we then can glue those on top of the satellite dish. Um, you can see here four stripes, um, something made. They, they sort of look quite crude, but um, I think they'll do the job. We'll see that next. Cool, so now we've got our Mylar stripes. We've got the sanded and painted dish. What I'm gonna try to do next, and I'm not really sure whether that's gonna work, but anyway, that's the first version of it. I'm gonna use the, um, the blue stick a simple glue that just you can get over in the supermarket and I'm just gonna try to glue those guys on top of the satellite dish and see whether it holds. So we've got our first Mylar stripe glued on top of the dish and um, it doesn't look terribly great there's a lot of wrinkles in there and a lot of um, sort of tiny bubbles um, you gotta really be gotta be really careful with the glue because it <laughs> it tends to get on top of the um, on top of the actual stripe when you when you put it down on it and um, you can see the the traces of the glue in here so um, I'll have to remove them somehow later I'm gonna proceed with the rest of the stripes and see how that goes. Cool, so we've got the whole dish covered with the Mylar now. It's not terribly reflective. You can see that it's somewhat um, blurry, but I think that should be all right for what we're trying to achieve. I think it should reflect enough energy, and if it doesn't, we'll have to resort to something else, maybe to using tinting, tinting film. Um, the next thing to do would be to take it outside and try it in the sun. So I've got it mounted and sitting outside on my deck. You can see that it's um, it's holding on to this um, metal thingy that I also borrowed from my friend Roman. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do next is to put a, a piece of wooden board in the focal point of it to see whether um, whether it gathers enough, whether it sort of directs enough light towards that focal point. And whether there's going to be enough heat if it's all if it all works well well um it should be able to set the, the wooden piece on fire or at least burn it quite um quite strongly so uh, let's try to do that taking a wooden piece and i'm um, placing it just where i think the focal point is and um you can see it's quite bright gets quite bright. Um, I'll keep it in there. And you can probably already see that the, some smoke is starting. There's a bit of smoke coming out. Just gonna try to rotate, rotate it slightly. Oh, brilliant. It's quite a bit of smoke coming out. Hope you can guys see it. Yeah. Well, this is actually a lot of smoke coming out, which is pretty good. That means um, it worked quite well. It didn't start, it didn't start in, like to burn it immediately. Probably the board is a bit wet. But um, yeah, it, it works great. So the next thing I'm gonna try to do is um, to get a, some sort of tripod and hang um, 
hang some water in the black container in there to see whether it can boil it. So yeah, that's the dish and it's sitting on the mount and it's directing the sun towards one focal point. It's a bit blurry though, but I think it does the job.